Hi, Hello Right here. I haven't put up any videos in a little while, but there's been a lot of work going on around here and it's been pretty busy. Now that I have some time, I'm taking this opportunity to sort of revisit and reboot the idea of a how-to series, primarily on making clothing. Now this will be very simple clothing, but it'll use methods that are very commonly used throughout history to make clothing. The clothing that I'm going to be making is not going to be of a specific period or place. But with a little adjustment here and there, you should find that it'll fit into any setting you need it to. Something like an SCA event, a Ren Fair, LARPing, or just even role-playing with friends. And it'll go over a lot of basic stuff that's pretty easy to get down. And once you have it down, you can look at more specific patterns for period correct clothing for what you're trying to achieve. I'm going to be making a full outfit, which will be head, top, gloves, bottom, feet, and probably a pouch, maybe a belt, possibly even a cloak just to cover all the bases for any broad strokes of the kind of thing you might want to make. In this video, I'm going to be addressing tools and materials that you'll need and that will appear and be frequently used throughout the series. You'll need a means of measuring, something like a tailor's tape, or if you don't have one of those and can't obtain one, a string with knots tied at regular intervals will serve. You'll also need something to secure edges previous to them being stitched. Blue tape or painter's tape leaves very little residue, is easy to tear, easy to pull out lengths, easy to stick to most surfaces. Pins might also be helpful. In addition to pins, you will also want as many types of needle as you can get your hands on. This type of needle is for leather lacing. These hooked and bent and flat needles are for upholstery work, but you'll find they'll be helpful in what we're going to be doing. Standard type of threading needle is an absolute must, and a bulkier needle for use with heavier gauge types of threads like wax-coated linen thread would be useful. You'll also want something to mark with. A permanent marker would probably be best. You'll want a good pair of scissors, and some of the more surprising tools, optional, not entirely necessary, would be a swivel knife, a scythe of some fashion, and punches of different types would be helpful for making holes in perforations. If you don't have any punches, a metal capped ballpoint pen or mechanical pencil can serve to do the job. You'll also want some kind of mallet. This one is a rawhide mallet. Plastic mallet will work as well. A flat, hard surface that you're not afraid to get cut up will be helpful. And that's the majority of tools that you will actually need. Now, as for materials, firstly, you're going to want some sort of suede. or one to two ounce top grain leather might work. The ones shown here are actually cut from old jackets, which I obtained from flea markets and thrift stores relatively inexpensively. No need to buy new if recycle will do. You are going to want a large amount of cloth. Now, this is a one ounce cotton duck canvas. You can find these online or at hardware stores pretty inexpensively, which I find is generally better than buying them in bolts from fabric stores. Of course, sometimes you get one that's not as wide as you need it to be. You want about three to four feet width on these. Heavier than one ounce grades tend to be wider. And you want a simple weave. And a simple weave will have irregular thread size, and it will be square, like this and like that. Cotton will suffice, although if you want to be more historically accurate, you're going to be using a lot of wool. 
wool is itchy, though. Another historically accurate material would be linen, which comes from the flax plant. Although linen was mostly worn by wealthier people and was not nearly as prolific as wool, outfits going for an exorbitantly wealthy look might include silks and suede even. A plain white cotton sheet should be fine for a liner on clothing and accessories, but I wouldn't use it for the outside. You may also find it helpful to pick up old leather belts that may be repurposed in a variety of ways. You'll find that braided leather belts can be especially useful. A plain cotton thread will work nicely for most things. You might also want to consider a much tougher and more moldable wax-covered linen thread. Any of the materials can be substituted for modern synthetic equivalents. You just want the right look. So if you can get the look with something like polyester and you're comfortable with wearing that, go right ahead. Well, that's all for now. Have a good one.